We are here at Nassam Sabah, where dedicated professionals are making a significant impact of the lives of many stroke survivors. Let's meet with the representatives to learn more about their significant work. Let's take a look. Hi Chester, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers today? Uh, my name is Chester and I'm 26 years old this year and I actually got my stroke at the age of 11. It was an aneurysm. Chester, in what specific ways has Nassam Sabah supported you during your journey of stroke recovery? Nassam has actually taught me a lot of things throughout the years I've been here. They have taught me a lot of exercises which I can use it at here or at home. <laughs> yeah. Chester, could you please describe the challenges you faced and the adjustments you've made in your life since stroke? Even now, I'm also facing the challenge because with my leg, right, I'm one-sided stroke, right? So when I walk on those not flat surface, I will actually twist my leg. <laughs> Could you share any personal experiences or examples of how the services here at Nassim Sabah has positively impacted you in your rehabilitation process? They have actually brought a lot of joy <laughs> and happiness for me. <laughs> they have also made the exercises fun <laughs> and everything. Chester, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for sharing your experience. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you the best in your recovery. Hi Christy. Hi. Mungkin Hi. boleh berikan uh, pengenalan kepada kita punya penonton. Hi. Nama saya Christy, Phoebe Jeswanam dan saya bekerja dengan National Stroke Association of Malaysia. Bagaimana kerjaya ni boleh memberikan kepuasan dari sudut uh, kerja Christy di Nasam Sabah ni? Secara peribadi saya rasa puas bila bila nampak Pesakit tu dapat buat sesuatu yang orang tidak jangka orang boleh buat. What's your hope and aspirations as we move forward to take care of stroke patients? Saya rasa saya mau buat yang terbaik dan bagi yang terbaik and hoping I can help them out supaya orang boleh buat semaksimal yang orang boleh ikut tahap kebolehan mereka sendirilah. Christy, you do important work. Please keep it up. Thank you. Thank you so much for your good work. Joining us today is Jasmine Ali, the chairperson of Nesam Sabah. Jasmine, Hi thank ben. you so much for inviting us here. Good to see you. Thank you for coming to Nesam Sabah. Well, Jasmine, could you share how Nesam Sabah assists stroke patients in their recovery journey? Um, basically, we are the only centre in KK uh, that provides a uh, daily physiotherapy sessions to the, uh, the stroke patients. Uh, we have group exercises here. We have one-to-one -one sessions also that is done by two qualified physiotherapists um, daily. Can you share a specific success story that exemplifies the impact of your programs? There's many stories, but um, one would be if any of the stroke patients, they recovered and they went back to the society to work or to become a functional person, that's a success for Nassam Sabah. How can Sabahans assist Nassam? Oh, many ways. <laughs> but the most foremost one would be, it would be donation in cash to Nassam Sabah. Um, because we are an NGO, so we depend on the kindness of the community, the people, uh, to help us run the centre and also to pay for our salaries here. What's gratifying about your job as chairperson? It is actually very heartwarming to come in here and to know that Nasam Sabah is making changes to their lives. That when they come here, that they know there is hope for them to recover, to go back to the society. What are your hopes and perhaps aspirations for Nasam Sabah? That it keeps on continuing, <laughs> that we're here. Um, to continue our services to the stroke survivors. I do hope that we get better equipment and we can get more staff so that we can give more to the stroke patients. Alright, Jasmine, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Ben.
viewers if you're interested to assist nasam sabah please visit their website you can also volunteer your donations are appreciated and most importantly your help to share their good work here will assist stroke patients